Hello everyone, welcome back to Nora's Kitchen. Today we will be trying the most amazing TikTok sandwich hacks. I compiled a list of sweet and savory sandwiches to see which ones will win, which ones are actually worth the hype, which ones I will actually want to make over and over again. We shall see. Our first hack is going to be the tortilla sandwich. You can add whatever you want to it. But I am just going to sprinkle some mixed grated cheese. Yum. This one doesn't have any chance of being bad. I mean, it's cheese and a tortilla. Fold it, and then you fold it again. That works. So now we have the cheese everywhere. Now we're gonna put that in. I hope I don't start a fire. Let's put it on three. All right, so our toaster popped up. As you can see, it's a little toasty on this side and the cheese still has a little melting to go. I know, maybe I should flip it so we get both sides. Genius! Let's go. <sighs> Being smart is hard. It's not easy. And up. Now we got some more color. Nice and crispy, yum. Look at the cheese just coming out. Whoa, delicious, wow. <sighs> Time to bite it. I wanna thank the TikTok food hack gods for inventing something like this. This was delicious and this has the potential for so much more. You can add some sauce on the side to dip it in. You can add chicken inside, salami. You can add tofu, you can add feta, you can add literally anything. The possibilities are endless with this bad boy. Check it out. Let me know what you would add to yours. This one is a success. And we're back at it with hack number two, our second savory hack. We're gonna be doing the good old hot dog, sausage, egg thing for breakfast. Sounds good. Apparently this only is supposed to take two minutes. First thing, I wanna make sure that this is gonna look as pretty as possible. So I am going to cut the hot dog neatly. I'm gonna get all the excess bread. Ooh, that's a pretty baby. We're gonna cut this straight down. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna cut the sausages now because I wanna make sure that it fits. Perfect. These will be in my breakfast omelet tomorrow. Let's go to the pan. I got my butter going. Love the sight of melted butter. My bread. So he fits it in like this and then he cuts it. I don't know why he does it on the pan because it might scratch the pan. There you go. This is why I did two guys. Please don't break. I'm scared. How will I fit the egg in here? This looks interesting. I need like four hands for this. How does he do this with one hand? Whoa! I'm gonna cover it because I don't have that cool lid thing he has. So while that's slowly cooking, it's looking cute. Not as neat as his, but I'm gonna add some salt. Love me some black pepper. I think we're gonna have to flip it because I feel like the bottom is already burnt. So I'm just gonna try to be really ninja quick about this. One, two, three, and what? That was perfect. Fingers crossed, guys. Woo! Now that's a beaut. Exactly like the TikTok one. I know just the thing to make it beautiful. We're gonna add some jalapeno. There you go. Ta-da! Oh, the sausage is warm. I'm guessing it's cooked. I'm excited and scared at the same time. Most of the egg white got around, as you can see. There you go. Time to do the taste test. Smells divine. Tastes? I don't think this has a capacity not to taste bad. Not to taste good. It tastes good, okay guys? It tastes amazing. Had I been taking my breakfast more seriously, I would have mixed sriracha with ketchup. Next time, I will get bigger hot dog buns so we can do the split better and so the egg yolk fits. Maybe a bigger sausage as well. This one was a success. Bye. Hack number three. We got our two bagels. Which one is going to be the winner? We are going to be using this bad boy to make a delicious bagel, cheese, tomato sandwich that is going to be baked in the oven. That sounds delicious and amazing and I'm so excited because this is the one. This is an everything bagel I picked. It smells delicious, guys. And yes, delicious is my word of the video. And we are going to try to cut this baby as evenly in half as possible. Wow, this bagel is tougher than I expected. Perfect half, look at that. Voila! So we have our glasses ready. TikTok hack over, bye. 
kidding. We are going to, what is this called? When you're literally just like peeling the bread off of the bagel. It is beautiful. And now we're gonna do the second one. Wow, who knew this would be so much easier? I honestly thought this was gonna be the hard part. I was ready to like wrestle. Look how many spoons I got. Okay, one other spoon. It's not that much. <laughs> There's our two halfsies. I have my tomato puree, just like she does. So we're just gonna massage it in. Mmm, yum. Perfect. Now we have our cheese. So we're gonna go like this. Whoa! She got some oregano seasoning and other things. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. Mmm, this makes it even more Italian. Make sure your oven is preheated to 350 to 400. Depends how toasty you want it. I did 350. Close this beauty. And now we're gonna put it in the oven. And this baby's out. So I had to up it to 400 for 10 minutes. And look how perfect and beautiful it looks. I'm excited to cut this in half. I'm gonna use a Nora hack. I'm gonna hold this like this. Oh, oh, the cheese is coming out. Let's do it. Oh, wow, that smells incredible. Wow. Can't wait to eat this. Yes. A million times yes. This one's a keeper. If you add pizza sauce, the seasoning, the oregano seasoning made it even better. And the fact that this is an everything bagel, the cherry on top, guys. This one, I love, and I suggest you guys try it too. Let me know your thoughts. Success! We're going to start our sweet sandwiches. The first one will be an incredible bread chocolate ravioli sandwich. We're going to need some white bread. You're going to need some chocolate. You're going to need some breadcrumbs. I have panko breadcrumbs. You're going to need an egg and you're going to need a cup, a rolling pin. And lastly, we're going to need some hot oil frying in there. So let's do this, flatten this bread. We're gonna break up some chocolate and we're gonna put that on top and then I'm just gonna go like that. Oh, there you go. Come on. Oh no, how on earth is that possible? The pita just broke. We're gonna try again. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Gently pop it out. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. We have two and a half almost ready desserts. <laughs> We're gonna grab this and make sure we coat it in the egg quickly, like so. And then we're gonna grab that and coat. Oh, ew, ew, egg. Come on, don't be like that. This looks good. Now let's do second. Let's get to deep frying. As always, I hate deep frying, so I'm scared. Wow, look how good the color is here. You guys don't even know, but this smells incredible. One, two. Here's the final result. It looks beautiful, golden, amazing. Let's just hope the chocolate is melted inside. Yes, this is a success. Mmm, the chocolate is melted. This hack is perfect. The only problem I have with this hack is the fact that it weighs so much bread. That's all. You can just make dough for this specifically like pasta makers do, you know, for ravioli. And then you can just go for it. You can even add a marshmallow inside and make it s'more addition. This one is a yes, success. We are going to be making a caramel sandwich. You're going to make sure you put butter on only one side of the sandwich. Now, honestly, I don't know why you need extra butter when, you know, chocolate and the bread, this should be delicious enough. It's gonna be like putting Nutella and butter together. But hey, I'm not the one that makes these hacks. I just test them. I just try them. I just let you guys know whether they're worthy. Mmm, this is a smooth butter spread. I like it when things go my way. Look at that. That looks amazing and smells even better. There you go, the butter is finished. Grab a plate and go like this. And now we're going to start placing our chocolate. I don't know whether the chocolate's actually gonna melt. Not very excited about this one. Cautious with it. Two caramels exactly fit. 
So there you go, perfect size. And now we're gonna cover it and put it on the pan. So I'm gonna leave it on medium heat and then I'm gonna cover it to let the chocolate do its work. Look at that, the chocolate is already melting. Now I am gonna go neatly and whoa, what a perfect color. So I'm gonna cover it again and let the chocolate continue melting. And voila, I think it is a beauty and it's going to be delicious. Oh my God, it smells like heaven. Oh. Are we ready for the caramel to come out? Oh yeah, yeah that's the stuff, that's the goo. I'm so excited to try this. This is a decadent snack that you shouldn't eat every day because diabetes obviously, but you can spoil yourself once a month with this bad boy. The caramel is perfect. The butter on the bread, now I see why they did it. It adds that perfect caramelization. Look at that, wow, W-O-W. It is time for our last and final dessert TikTok hack. Let me just state that I couldn't find those twisty pretty marshmallows anywhere. Literally looked in three different stores, had to stay in a line. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to make do with regular good old marshmallows. She uses strawberry syrup. I am using chocolate because since I'm doing plain old marshmallows with chocolate, it's gonna be like a s'mores donut edition, you know? Like who doesn't love s'mores? So first thing first, we're gonna cut this baby in half. This is a donut from Tim Hortons. It is a honey dip donut. They squished it with their fingers to give a little valley here. This does not look healthy at all. Now we're going to shake our chocolate syrup and pour a little bit in here. Just the way I like it. I'm just gonna put the marshmallows on like that. Also, these have been out for a bit. That's why they're a little dry. They're not stale. Wow, that's so pretty. It's like a flower. We're gonna go like that and put this in the microwave. What is the future for you, buddy? Hmm? It's out. Look at it. It's gonna be hard. Ugh. Come on. Oh my God. The marshmallow is coming out everywhere. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared to try this because this looks like so much sugar. It's insane. But I will for you guys. Okay. Um, let me just say something. I don't know if you guys know this. I've mentioned it a few times in my previous videos. This is too much sweets for me. I'm not a big sweet person, but if you like sweets, you may enjoy this. Eat this at your own discretion. This one's a no for me, just because it's too much. And that was our last one. We are finished. We end the last one on a no for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on all of these hacks. Which one was your favorite? Which one you would like to try? Which one you have tried? Which other TikTok hack you want me to try? Anyway, make sure you guys leave this video a big like. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys later. Bye.